I'm Miss Rocket. Welcome to Classroom Science. Distance and displacement. Distance and displacement may look the same, but in truth, they are two different measurements. Distance is the measurement of path length covered by an object or person. Displacement is the path length between the start point and end point of an object or person. Let's understand distance and displacement through examples. Priya cycles 3 kilometers east from her house and reaches park. After enjoying few hours in the park, she moves towards west to reach her friend's house, which is 1 kilometer away from the park. And then from her friend's house, she cycles 2 kilometers west to return home. Now, what is the distance covered by Priya? It is 3 kilometers plus 1 kilometer plus 2 kilometers, which is equal to 6 kilometers. So the distance covered by Priya is 6 kilometers. Now tell me what is the displacement of Priya? 0 kilometer. Do you wonder how? Come, let's learn through the example by analyzing it step by step. Priya cycles 3 kilometers from her house to park. Here, the total path length covered by Priya is 3 kilometers. So the distance is also equal to 3 kilometers. Displacement is the path length between start point and end point. The path length between Priya's house and park is 3 kilometers. So the displacement value is also 3 kilometers. From park, Priya is moving to her friend's house. Here, distance covered by Priya is 3 kilometers plus 1 kilometer, which is equal to 4 kilometers. The path length between Priya's house and Priya's friend's house is 2 kilometers. So the displacement is 2 kilometers. See, here our distance and displacement values are different. From her friend's house, Priya returns home. Here, the distance is equal to 3 kilometers plus 1 kilometer plus 2 kilometers, which is equal to a total of 6 kilometers. Now, Priya is at her home. As the start point and end point of Priya is same, there is no displacement. So the displacement value is 0 km. Displacement can also be described as how far an object is away from its actual place. In displacement measurement, direction must be considered. Any quantity which is measured considering direction is called as vector quantity. And any quantity which is measured without considering direction is called as scalar quantity. So, here displacement is a vector quantity and distance is a scalar quantity. Let's tabulate the difference between distance and displacement. Distance is the total path length covered by an object or person. Displacement is the total path length between start point and end point of an object. Distance is a scalar quantity. Displacement is a vector quantity. Distance can have only positive values. Displacement can have positive values, negative values and zero.